Hi, we're Jayla. And we are ex-music students from Litchfield College. We met at college and now we're on a UK tour. Hi, I'm Ed. I play the drums in Jayla. Uh, I joined the college with the initial intention of being a guitarist, but there were too many guitarists. So then I, I took to the drums and I learned while at the college how to play in groups with people live and in a studio. I learned how to play with a click uh, and just widened my music taste to get all different types of genres in it. And uh, it was a great experience, and I'll, I'll do it all over again. Uh, hi, I'm Ricky from Jailer. I play bass and keys. Um, I started as a guitar player here at college, and then I started on the performance pathway. And um, a band asked me to learn bass with them, so I did do. And then James says I looked more comfortable, and it suited me better, so I stuck with it for a bit. And then while they was recording the demos here, I was in the back room just kind of watching and taking everything in and then circumstances happened with the band and uh, they had a bass player come free so I thought I'll take that if they'll let me and then they let me stop and um, here I am. Yeah. Hi I'm James and I play the guitar and I play the vocals in uh, Jailer and uh, I chose the performance pathway and uh, I had a great time doing so. I learned how to be a front man and uh, kind of sing properly and not kind of ruined my voice and run out of breath too quickly and I learnt different vocal techniques and what suits me best and, um, and a lot of songwriting uh, was for the for the EP was done here thanks to Dan and Jeff kind of showing me what to do and what not to do even though music is can be whatever you want but they definitely showed me the way to kind of write a proper song and so it doesn't sound like loads of mumble jumble and uh, I had a great time here and uh, definitely would do it again Hi, I'm Tyler and I'm the guitar player in Jailer and I also do the mixing and the sound tech. Uh, when I joined the college I chose the music production pathway and what that allowed me to do is learn things in the studio, how to mix, how to record a live session and ultimately it allowed me to record songs like Peace in Our Time, the demo version which was done here in the college studio. Um, we've also released our debut EP, Peace in Our Time. Uh, the drums for that were done in a room over there in the college, um, just because we like the sonics of the drums. Um, and also we've got our own studio now, which I used uh, knowledge that I learnt here to try and create things in the studio, learn different things. Um, Dan and Jeff taught me different techniques which I've tried and messed around with, and that's all helped create the EP and it's allowed us to put our ideas together and record it and, and put it out there. So without that, I... Um, we, we wouldn't be able to do it in our own studio, so that's, uh, that's what I learned. Uh, one of my favourite college memories is uh, during the first year, uh, you know, they gave us an opportunity to kind of start looking at samples and make our own songs and stuff. So I wanted a snare sound, but I wanted to get it from a clap. Um, so I asked these guys, can I get you guys to clap for me? And uh, I can't remember who it was, but one of, someone in the class went, I want you to slap the back of Ricky's head. <laughs> so we, uh, we tried to get some slap sounds out for this and snare, and I didn't get the ambience I wanted. Uh, so we went to the toilet, I got my microphone, and mic'd it up, and we, uh, we, <laughs> we carried on <laughs> slapping the back of Ricky's head, and I got the snare sample we want, and that snare sna sample is now on the EP, yeah. if you can find it. Yeah, you've got to tell us where can. it is. Um, so yeah, that was my Yeah, favorite. my neck was pretty sore after. Yeah. <laughs> good tone though. Good, good tone. Good tone. tone. <laughs> Alright, what about the fun Funky Frogs? Oh, the Funky Frogs. We had a, we had a separate band. Amazing. Same members, yeah. uh, different band. And we different were, music. Different, different music. music. Very different music. Um, Before Ricky even learned keys, keys I was probably, playing yeah. keys. He didn't even know what, know what keys were. We, we, we had a funk band called the Funky Frogs. We did like Earth, Wind and Fire covers. Never really went anywhere because, you know. Jailer took priority. It, it was an underground <laughs> was project. A, <laughs> it was yeah, underground. My skills were just too intense. That's what it was. <laughs> That's what we, call, we, show. we had a long day doing written work, so what we're going to do, we're going to make a bunch of sh like funk songs and. Yeah, look, yeah. even these <laughs> songs that weren't funk, we turned them into funk. Yeah, we I don't know what genre they were, to be honest. Yeah, it was, it was quite fun. It was just different. It was yeah. different. 
But it was really fun. The fun. We did it a few times. Yes. Yeah, we did. We did, well, we did as much as we could. We're, we're, still, we're, still, we got we're still looking to get our first gig as the Funky Band. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want a funk band? Hit us up. Yeah. <laughs> well, what I'd say to a lot of um, aspiring musicians is that um, you may have an attitude like we definitely did, where we want to do it this way, we don't want anyone else to change our opinion, you know, we, we, we have the idea in our head and we want to execute it as we think. Um, always take, even if it's just a little bit of advice from someone like a lecturer or someone else in the music business, um, it does go a long way. You might not uh, realise it straight away. Um, music is about, you know, being different, creating a new thing. Um, that's what we try and do here in Jailer. Um, but a bit of advice is just always great to hear off of anyone. So, you know, take it, think about it, and maybe blend it in with, with your music, what you're creating. Um, but I definitely recommend it. Have fun and grow your hair. Grow your hair. Yeah, yeah. Grow yeah. your hair. Because that's what people have told me. They say, look better with longer hair. So just grow your hair. That's all I can yeah. say. Go yeah. play rock. Yeah. 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 The more uh, hair you got, the more skill you got. Yeah. Well yeah. Right. Just... And uh, I'd also say, just don't give up. You know, some people might be like, "Oh, like why, why bother?" Um, I know when I, when I first started college, I was like, my parents are very forward to that. Oh, you should, you know, do your solo thing. Da, 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 da. When I mentioned the band, they're like, "Okay, we'll see how it goes," and they are so excited and so happy for me that I formed the band. So you know, just don't give up. Keep trying, and I'm sure you'll get somewhere with it. Uh, so, at the minute, Jayla are now working on a 12-track EP, uh, EP album, and uh, we've been doing that since as soon as the EP was finished. We were like, okay, let's get straight to work on the album, and uh, it was meant to be 10 tracks, but we've, we've, got, we've started writing so many songs now, we've had to archive loads, <laughs> and we now made it a 12-track um, album. So we're very excited for that, and uh, for more albums to come as well. So, um, gigging wise, um, we were very happy to announce earlier this month, um, well, I know it was last month now, um, that we have been put on a 12 date UK tour with Kira Mack, who is um, it's a band that I've, I've been a fan of for a few years, me and James have seen them. Um, yeah, Steel House, great band. Uh, so, when that news came through, we were really, really excited. It's our first time going you know, far up north to Glasgow and all around south, Southampton. Um, and it's really going to be a, a, a place at a time for us to get our music out there, play in front of a new audience. Um, and you know, we, we've we've done we've done a lot of gigs um, in the Midlands area. Um, we started out in pubs, you know, open mic nights right at the start. Then we went to smaller pubs. Uh, we got to some real nice venues. A good one I think off the top of my head is KK Steel Mill. And um, now doing this UK tour really allows us to get to a new audience and uh, spread spread our music.